Good morning, everybody. Welcome back for another 1.79 War Thunder First 10. Today, as you can see, is the Leopard 2A4, a 9.7 main battle tank for Germany. And I have got a 30% research booster on, which was nice to get in the daily Wheel of Poverty spin a couple days ago. I've got a 10% Silver Lion booster on. I've got 21 rounds of ammunition, which gives me... That entire rack in the back and most of the front gone. I may just take out those last five from the front there and just call it good with 16. Because honestly, I don't think I'm going to use up that many. Um, here is the rest of my lineup. My research is set to parts. And uh, let's see who we're fighting here. Okay. It is the 23rd of June. And I believe that covers all the things that I normally talk about here. Now, you can research the DM-13 APFSDS rounds as a first tier modification. I thought about it briefly, and I chose not to, and I chose to go for parts because, well, 650 millimeter burn hash is, or uh, heat FS rather, is still pretty good. And um, you can always still hit somebody with that and at least go for their gun but if your gun gets broken and you don't have parts to fix it well then you're kind of out of luck and you gotta head back to you know you gotta get to a capture point to be able to fix it so I elected to go for parts as my first research instead of better APFS well instead of APFSDS at all Instead of better ammo, I should say. Okay. The sun is very much in our favor. Let's see if I can actually use that to my favor. Small battle. Very small battle. For a second I thought I... second I thought I heard an Abrams engine, but I don't believe that I do. bit of drop with these heat FS rounds, you can see. I'm sure the uh, APS, the APFSDS is going to be a lot better. Somebody taking a hit right out there. Oh. Can't tell where it is, though. Whoops. Did not want to knock a tree over. Just lost the guy right next to me. Gotta be careful. can't see where the shots are coming from. I'm not seeing the guy taking taking hits out there. Alright, we're backing off because I can't see where the cannot see where these shots are coming from. We're taking C now. Alright. Predator's getting hits on the dude, but... Okay, we're back to Captain C. I was about to pull out and move over to C to help my random squad mate down there, but... Predator Alpha keeps hitting some dude out there, but I can't see where it is. As for right now, we're holding two caps, so... I'm going to pull back into the woods here.
not seeing any movement at all. I really ought to go to see and help my squad mate. I don't know if they're hitting an Abrams out there or what, because it doesn't seem like anybody's setting this guy on fire. It's just a bunch of hits with a marker. It doesn't look like it's doing a lot of damage to him. I'm going to have to knock a tree down or something. For the life of me, I can't see this guy that everybody keeps hitting. Maybe I'm blind and I'm just missing it, but I am not. I'm seeing the marks on the mini-map, but not in reality here. Still nothing. There's a guy all the way across the river that I, that I can't see from behind that mound. Okay. Oh, that's a Leo 2K right there who just got taken down. Okay. We need to start being careful. So I promptly knock over the tree right next to me. Enemy forces have captured a zone. That rock looked like an Abrams turret for half a second. Yeah, we got one coming that way. Looks like he's been scout. Yep, yeah, he has been scouted. Bagel Panzer was scouting and we got taken out. Attention to the designated grid zone. Amex 40 down there. Alright, the Amex 40's out, so that's good. Good work there, DO-335. We lost our other guy next to us here. I wish I'd been able to get out and get to sea sooner. Try and help my random squad mate there. See anybody yet? See, we got two planes. We were down to just two tanks, though. That's the problem. We got SPAA. All right, so here's something I didn't test yet. I'll test real quick here. The neutral steering, I didn't really test too hard on the dev server. All right, it's not too bad. It's not mind-blowing, but it's not bad. And the reverse speed, we know, is pretty good. Just getting those out of the way now while it's relatively quiet before things start getting spicy around here. Which I imagine they're going to. Now we kind of need to go cap something here. So I'm going to make my way towards the C point and see if I can move in and decap it. We're going to take the sneaky, sneaky way through the trees here. All the guys that we lost, nobody said anything where they got shot from, so... Never mind. Man, that DO is doing some work. Holy cow. All right, I'm gonna go up past this farm here and then we'll circle around towards C from that way. Got the world's slowest ticket bleed going on, which is good for us.
tracked him. There's two of them. One's on fire. Tracked him too. He's on fire again. Fuel tank hit. The other one's on fire. There's an assist. That's good. Second guy is also dead. Okay. Let's move it. Go, engine, go. Oh, we're looking a little better, but we still got to hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, no. Well, it would have been nice to know there was an enemy playing up. Well, for Battle 2, we got the exact same thing. Uh, I did manage to get back in my... Um, Flak Panzer, to, for the life of me. All my brain wanted to say was Bagel Panzer. Managed to get back in my Flak Panzer Gepard and shoot down both the Corsair that bombed me out and an 84 that came along, but I wasn't able to get to the sea point fast enough to do any capturing and we just ran out of time so for the exact same battle lineup here map lineup I mean I will go in and get a cap on A and then I will race to C as fast as I can here it's a much bigger map so we'll see how it goes hopefully there'll be a few people to come with me but I will try and get to I'll try and get to the C point faster than it took last time Yeah, he's right. That's an awful lot of XM1 C's there. Let's hope we can actually make it. Well, some of them stopped. They're fast enough, close enough to be hitting us with artillery. Means probably Abrams and Abrams uh, prototypes up here in the woods. We got plenty of people going to see. I'm going to stay up here. If we're getting hit with Artie, we got people close enough to uh, be fighting here. We've got guys that are at sea, so. I'm going to stay here with my friends. Engine and radiator. That's the only problem with the heat rounds. All right, got his breach. Come on, finish him, finish him, finish him. All right, there's the first kill. And there's the second kill. All right. Pair of GMs. I'm not naive enough to think those would be the only two up here in the woods, so we gotta be careful. I am the left edge of our team here. But there's one getting marked up here that I'll. Okay, he's dead. Come on, come on, come on, baby, move. Yeah, 
got his gunner. And he's knocked out. All right. What happened at sea? Okay. Three air, oh boy. See, now there's somebody talking about air coming, so that's what I was talking about in the first battle. Now I know that if I hear airplanes, they're not just the friendly that was overhead. Alright. Okay, second cap. We want to go help at sea, I think. <laughs> I'm heading for C. This time I'm going for C. They look like they need help. This is a good fight. I'll say that. Should have a reasonable amount of research here. Coming. Oh, he's shooting an airplane. Okay. I think. Yeah. All right, we're taking C. Good work there. Second airplane. See anybody this time? Sky and sun conditions are a bit worse this time as far as spotting people out in the woods. Or in the fields. The fields is what I meant, but the woods too. Okay, we gotta be careful at A now. Now I'm over here backing up C, but C is uh, more heavily defended with teammates than A is. So we'll hold a little closer here doing okay. There's still enough enemy team left that they could mount a challenge. So we'll move close to C, but stay where we can get to A quickly. Right up here. Ought to be good. That should be a teammate. It is. Alright. Okay, now C is rather naked. But we're taking B, so that's a good trade. Okay, friendly. T-64A shooting at somebody, but I didn't see him get marked. M2A4. Well, there's one Xbox player who bought a big tank and then didn't research any better tanks to go with it. Or didn't buy any better tanks to go with it. Works for me. They're on the other team, not mine. Okay, I'm going to push up a little bit. How did we end up doing here? Okay, two kills, an assist, and two caps. That's not too bad. Well done, guys. we got an enemy marked up there. And they're taking C. That's what I thought was going to happen. I think it's probably that Abrams. Alright, let's see if we can find him. I know that one spot you can cap up here, which looks like somebody put artillery there. There's that one known really good spot where you can cap and be really hidden. And I would assume that's what's going on. Yep. That's about, yep, that's where he was. That's right where I thought he was going to be, just on the inside of this building here. It's right where I expected him to be. That's where I was trying to head to get to to take him out. All right. And there's another Xbox player with an M6 as a backup to their Chrysler XM1. I mean, obviously, I don't expect them to all have 
matching 8.7, 8.0, even 7.7 .7 lineups. But that's obviously going to be the problem. You knock those guys out of their XM1 and any backup XM1s they might have, and they're done for. That is that. Oh well. Couldn't reach him. I saw him. It's pretty far, pretty far shot. If I APF SDS would have been a little easier, little easier to make that length of a shot because it shoots flatter and travel well because it travels faster. Mostly, I had less, less gap. We'll shoot our worst enemy in the game right now. The most dangerous enemy you can face, right there. Well, GG, gang. That's gonna do it. Let's see if we can skip a rock off this water across the lake. Huh. For some reason it didn't work. I'm just kidding. I knew it wasn't gonna actually skip. Not heat FS anyway. Alright everybody, well, battle two went well enough, I guess. Can't expect too much more, we will see you in battle three. Okay, here's battle three, we got us some conquest, this could be tougher. Could be quite a bit tougher. We gotta hope that some of our team actually doesn't just go straight for their spawn, like a good lot of them are doing. Most of the bulk of the team seems to be following me towards the cab, so that's good for now, but we'll see how many of them actually get there. Battle 2 went well enough. Just America. This is going to be tough. I might have to just hold back from A. There. Okay. This this is this is probably going to go poorly. There's one lost already. Looks like they're firing smoke rounds up the road. I don't think that was our guys. Not by myself. Ah, there went one. Well, that did absolutely nothing. Oh my god! Look at my team. My team is nowhere near the cap. Nowhere near the cap. We're gonna lose this because our guys went for their spawn instead of the cap. Oh my. What's... What sun conditions? Here's Battle 4. This is going to be interesting. We actually came back and won Battle 3, but it was at the last possible second, and it was because the enemy team comprised mostly of people without any good backup vehicles after their XM1 prototypes got killed, ran out of vehicles, and our guys just had enough left over in their lineups. It was very, very close to being a loss because our team, as well as the enemy team, but both teams, 
just went for the enemy spawn and were ignoring A after the initial rush of all the Abrams that went to A that I ran into by myself. Anyway, we won, so... It ended up being okay, but it wasn't great. It's about as good as this lighting. Let's get out of here. Come on. Neutral steering is not fantastic with the old 2A4. Let's go, please. Acceleration with a totally stock engine isn't fantastic either. But it's good enough to get me away from there, so that's okay. Alright, we are fighting America and Japan, so... Could run into Type 90. He's gonna have to watch out for that. That's a case of potentially mistaken identity waiting to happen. Especially with this lighting. It's gonna be real tough to judge the silhouette between a 2A4 and a Type 90. Leopard 2K, pretty easy to tell the difference, I think, in my opinion. I don't know how he didn't just hurt me there. But we're gonna back away. As he did as well. Okay, we gotta mark him before our guys drive up to him. his gunner. Stay in the cap. There we go. That's not good. That's not good. That's not... Uh-oh. Lost my breach. I don't think it was artillery. I think it was an actual hit. Oh, boy. Okay, somehow. Enemy jet. Oh my god. Getting the heck out of here. Saw him. He didn't hurt me somehow. Where did he just go? Okay. Interesting. Sunlight is just getting ridiculous. They've got to tone it back. Shouldn't be such a determining factor in so often so many battles. Okay, here's Battle 5. This is nice. Ain't gonna be mad about having this map when I'm trying to grind research mods ever. Especially not Domination. Well, Domination specifically. Oh, come on now! This has just gone beyond ridiculous. Okay, that should stop me. Not gonna argue that, but... Two wooden barrels! I ran over two wooden barrels and they brought me to a complete halt! That's insanity! Thank you guys for waiting. Especially for leaving the cap and then going back to it. Love it when it does that. Like, all I hit there was shift. Not shift plus anything else, just shift. Just shift alone. I get the hit I was looking for, but hopefully I threw some dirt up in front of him. 
Which also wouldn't be too bad. Alright, who are we fighting? Everybody against us. Okay. That was friendly smoke. I'll take a second cap for sure. I might just get out of here after that. Okay. Find some enemies. Where did that even just come from? Oh, Jesus. Across the river. Come on. Okay, everybody. Here's battle six. After the first five battles, um, I'm not getting the kills. Obviously, with the Heat FS rounds, but uh, the battles are going pretty well overall. Uh, with the exception of Battle 3 that I think we should have lost and would have lost if American teams weren't primarily comprised of people with one high-tier premium tank and nothing to back it up. Um, I've actually won all five battles so far. I don't know that I've ever won the first five battles in the first ten before. If I have, I certainly don't remember it. So that's good. Um, the Heat FS rounds are serviceable, but you're not going to get a lot of one-hit kills with them like you will with the APF SDS. And even the first APF SDS is just the DM-13, not the DM-23s or 33s. So, well, I mean, you don't get the 33s yet, but it's not even the 23s that you have to unlock later on, higher, farther down the tier. That's the same as the Leopard 2K. So even so, even though you do get highly upgraded... APF SDS, it's not for a while that you get it. So you get a good, a good, pretty good APF SDS shell, but it's not the best one that you can have. I'm not sure where I took that hit from. Artillery, maybe? That might have been artillery that hit me. Um, anyway. But uh, the mobility is not quite as good as the Leopard 2K, I don't think. It's it's alright. It's not quite there. Oh boy. Eee! And there's the main problem with Heat Rounds, Vice, APF, SDS. Shooting through fences and stuff. Very difficult. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, there's one right there. See, and again, just a commander hit there. Oh boy, they're taking A. Yeep. Got him. I don't know how I got him. That was odd. He didn't explode immediately. I need to get out of here. They know where I am. Yep. I was just driving forward again. I'll finish up my uh, after the first five battle bit in the beginning of the next battle. Just kind of ran out of time here. APFSDS. It's better than HFS in pretty much every aspect, except for a few angles. So here's Battle Seven. Um, one thing I forgot to mention at Battle Six was that I added in uh, EU servers into my rotation, simply for queue times. It's just I'm probably 20 to 30 minutes behind where I should be right now. In recording this first hand because it's just been taking so long to get battles. Ordinarily I only run US servers simply for lowest possible ping and lowest latency reasons but I just couldn't afford it. I, it's taken too long and I need to get this recorded so I can start the editing process and then the rendering and then the uploading and so on. So those of you who pay attention to things like what my ping is you may notice it being slightly higher. I may still get US battles, but I've got the EU ones mixed in just in case, so. Alright, I'm covered on the right, anyway.
American Japan Allied again. Fine, finish the cap. Alright. God, come on! What was that? Was that art it was artillery again. should be pretty safe. We can kind of corner peek right here. Now with stabilizers this is really dangerous because by the time I can drive forward and get a shot on someone I'll be heavily exposed from the front and with a stabilizer they'll be able to hit me pretty hard. But also the fact that I see this dude coming. I don't believe it. I, I'm so disgusted right now. him to shoot oh, or not look. That'll work. Got his engine. He's on fire. That's an assist. I'll take it. I will take an assist there. Stupid light post. Not only did I mess up my previous shot, but I shot it and it didn't drop. Gotta love it. Okay. They are taking C. The C is our point. That's not good. Okay. Let's make use of the mobility of this thing. Maybe. Well, it's not quite as mobile as I was thinking, but um, it's similar to the Leopard 2K, but it is not as mobile as the Leopard 2K. It's it's just not. It's not it's not terrible, but it is not as mobile. Say so. I'll take a look. Got his commander. That's all I got. And that did absolutely nothing. Um, I'm just going to keep backing down the thing here. And maybe not drive right up to their spawn. This is dangerous. This is supremely dangerous. This is hilariously dangerous right now. And hilariously funny, actually. Where the heck did he go? Alright, I'm getting the heck away from wherever that Type 90 ended up. Let's see if I can make it up to C. Okay, we're taking C, good. I have no idea where that Type 90 ended up. I'm just trying to get away from where he might find me. And not hit every single light pole along the way. That's going to slow me down. Alright, we're taking C again still. Yep, 
No, don't wait, Cap. There we go, we're on fire. Don't wait in a battle in the middle of the battle when the battle is going. Just cap. Okay, we'll finish up the after at the end in the final thoughts. Okay, here's battle number eight. We finally lost one. We lost battle seven. Sadly, sadly, I am going to run up to... Okay, pick pick a spot here, fellas. Pick a heading. And drive it. I'm going up to B. I'm going to try and get into all of the uh, bushes and such. The cover up there. Hang out in there. Try and capture B. And then we'll see about uh, firing at the enemies coming up. Of which there will be many. Because this is a big battle. And we're fighting America... Britain and Japan. That means a lot of dangerous tanks coming up quickly. So good! That's what I'm looking for. I want to showcase this thing and what it can do. I just wish I had APFSDS rounds, but oh well. Can't be helped. I'm not sure what our guys are shooting at yet. They might be just shooting. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna try to stay off to the right, stay hidden from those guys down there that are probably already at that ridge line. Not going to peek out to the side over there like I did with the, uh, I guess it was with the XM1. Yep, they're at B, that's not a surprise. Okay, here we go. Full speed ahead to B. they captured already? That could be something even lighter and smaller than an Abrams. It could also be an Abrams. The Abrams are capable of getting there that fast. A slight advantage in that they capped before I got there, so now they don't know I'm here and I can move up closer to them before they know that I'm here. Or that crap could happen. There's more than one. God dang it. Well, so much for clicking on the map. My my team's not even anywhere near. They're all just hanging back again. Alright, here's Battle 9. I let the spawn choose randomly for me, so this works. Um, we'll see whether or not to go all the way to A or to hang back a little. So I got angry in the last battle because there were literally seven tanks, including myself, moving up towards B. So we should have had a seven tank rush on the B point at the start. And the tactically and strategically most important piece of land on that map. The high ground, as it were, all you Obi-Wan Kenobi fans. It's also the center of the map and you can dominate the, B, the C point and the A point from there because anybody attacking from those places has to come up the hills and you can shoot down at them. They have to come up slowly, they can't speed into the point. The and six of the tanks that weren't me stopped. They stopped short at the first first piece of cover that they ran into. So we turned what would have been a seven on two against two unarmored prototypes into a two on one where I moved in, saw one guy and didn't see the other one off to the side and got shot and set on fire. Now, I would have been on fire and burned out anyways. That is not something I'm debating, because I didn't have FPE, but we would have had more tanks there that would have wiped them out a lot earlier, and we would have taken the B point away from them. We ended up winning the battle, of course, but that was more a case of U.S. teams right now don't have any kind of backup tanks primarily, most of them. There are plenty of Abrams players and PC and PS4 players who've been playing the game for a long time and have good backup lineups. 
But there's quite a lot of players on these teams, a third to a half to two thirds sometimes, that just have their XM1s and nothing to back them up, nothing useful anyway. So that's what I got angry about, for those of you who are going to say, oh, well, you shouldn't have been rushing B in the first place. Yes, I should have, and yes, those other seven, six tanks with me should have kept on going right up to the point. There was no enemy contact yet where they all stopped. They stopped there simply because they stopped there. But anyway, moving on from that, let's see who we're fighting here in Battle 8. We've got America, Britain, and Japan again, but at least we got some teammates with us this time. Okay, let's see what we've got. Conquest again. Okay, enemy contact has been made. Let's see if we can get a shot at the guy. Come on. Nope, I think they got him. Looks like, yeah, he's gone. Okay. Well, we got lots of fighting going on at Hogwarts. There's a shock. That's every single battle on this map, no matter where the objective is. Okay, they're in A, so we'll let them have it. One up there that I can't see. Okay. All right, I got a teammate with me. At least two two teammates with me at A. Good. Now I'm gonna let them take A, and then I'm gonna wait for them to move, and then I will shoot and move in. Okay, they hit one. Let's see what we can see here. Thought I took a hit there for a second. Get him? Did we take him out? Yes, we did. Okay, good work, guys. See, not by myself at the capture point. That's fine. Okay, we've got enemy close enough to artillery us. And who knows where they could be. Well, I mean, I know where they could be. I don't know where they are. I'm gonna oh, what? Okay. I looked at the cap for a second, and it would just have to be right in the all grayed out, no blue and no red color. And I thought for a second we would have been stopped capping, and I was trying to figure out how that was possible. Oh, boy. Not good. But there he is. I thought he was coming in higher than he was. Scary. We need to get out of here. I'm on fire. Okay, well, I was going to go up to C, but I'm so far to this side that I think I'm just going to go to A instead. I was totally going to go up to C this time to get that first cap, see how this thing did hill climbing, but I spawned so far to the right of the spawn that... Never mind. Also, the sun is directly in our face, naturally, so that's just how I want a battle 10 to go. Small battle, though. Maybe it'll be okay. Well, good job, Abrams. I hope we get airplanes before you do. Because you just made it a lot easier to fly and on target. By taking out all the barrage balloons before your team had any airplanes. So. Let's hope we get air support before they do. Almost had score in every battle, but not quite. Looks like we should get score for battle 10, though. Well, we 
We've got him dead to rights for an assist, at least, if not a kill. Because he can't see me to shoot me. Finally, I catch somebody else like that, like I keep getting caught. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take the assist. That's fine. No... Buddy watching... Yeah, nobody watching behind. Oh, boy. And that is an enemy shooting. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! And my shot apparently didn't hit him. Of course it didn't. FSDS. So, final thoughts for the. Uh oh. Final thoughts for the Leopard 2A4 9.7 battle rating main battle tank for Germany. It's really good. It's going to be absolutely terrifying when I've got APFSDS for it and ungodly when I have the best APFSDS for it. So, um, when you initially get it first, it's a little tough to use because of the heat FS rounds, no doubt. Um, it is not as mobile as the Leopard 2K, but that's not to say it's bad by any means. It's a good, it's still a good tank. I'm dropping here just because I can. It is a very good, very good tank. It's got a little bit of a mobility issue, for sure, but it's not like it's bad. Um, when I say mobility issue, I mean it's not quite as fast or maneuverable as the Leopard 2K that it should be replacing. So don't take me wrong and think that I mean that it's not mobile or anything. It's just, it's after you get the Leopard 2K, you get used to the Leopard 2K and the... Leopard 2A4 is not the same. It's not bad. It just doesn't uh, doesn't have the neutral steering or the reverse capability that you get used to with the Leopard 2K. It's still a very good tank, and it has the Ryan Metal gunner, 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 gunner. Hello, gunner. Hello, any gunners? Any gunners at all? Are there any gunners who want to shoot? Well, there's one who wants to shoot. So we'll finish up the final thoughts watching this other Leopard 2A4. So, uh, the Rhine Metal 120mm gun is obviously very, very good. It's probably the best gun in the game, and if it's not, it'd be hard-pressed to find something that's better. Um, once you get the APF SDS rounds, it's going to be an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal tank. And the same thing with the Type 90, which is extremely similar to the Leopard 2A4. So I'm looking forward to that as well. I did very much enjoy driving this tank. It's very good. Uh, the Heat FS rounds have the usual Heat FS limitations. Usually in the angles that you're going to be able to hit a lot of people that you're facing, the APF SDS could do better than the Heat FS. And this guy's driving right up to their spawn, which is crap but um i don't really want this to drag out any longer so let me know what you thought in the comments and we'll see you guys next time for more war thunder i should have more leopard 2a4 videos coming for you but probably not right away i'm going to be grinding out the rest of the new tanks for 1.79 so i will definitely be driving the leopard 2a4 again just probably not too heavily immediately so as usual Thank you all for stopping by and checking this one out. I do have bonus footage for you coming up at the end of the final thoughts here, so don't forget to stick around for that. And as usual, we'll see you all next time. Have a great day, everyone, and thanks for watching.